good morning and welcome to the most interesting video I have ever made in my life. The past two weeks I was in a small village in China and it was the most interesting thing, the most interesting things I have ever experienced in my entire life and I'm really making this video as a memory to myself to watch this video over and over again. It was amazing. Anyway, Ni Hao, I'm Lizzie and welcome to my channel and probably the best video that you'll ever see that explains Chinese culture. behind me because I'm babysitting my cameraman Emma she's also my roommate her sister's kids and we have been hosting them for like two days so it's been rough man I love kids though but yeah I'm definitely thinking about if I want kids it's just a different type of tired but anyway back to the video so it was Chinese New Year the past two weeks and I was invited by Emma to go to her brother's wedding and they live in a really small town called it's not even Ludian. It's in Yunnan, but it's like Jiaotong is big. Then you get Ludian is you know smaller, and then you get their village, which is even smaller. And it was so nice to just drive around there. And maybe it's because I come from a small town that was so nice to spend Chinese New Year here. Because it wasn't in a big city, it was away from all the noise, except for the fireworks though. But that has also been another experience, being woken up by these crackers and fireworks every morning. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. The first day we got there, it was so busy. It was the first time I ever met Emma's family. Uh, we really communicated a lot of TPR, like movements, because I can understand quite a lot of Chinese, but they speak a different type of Chinese because you know they have so many different dialects so it was a lot of tpr but it was a warm welcome from the beginning so here in china with weddings it was oh it was a muslim wedding because they are from a small town and it's also a muslim area so the people were coming and going the whole day and the parents and the kids everyone has to like host them so just we were eating seeds and oranges every single day, by the way. I think I even look like a seed or an orange, I'm telling you. Yeah, it was just busy. A lot of people came. Usually parents have to cook food, but if it's your child's wedding, you don't do the cooking. All the other people from the village help you cook. So that was the first thing that was so interesting to me. It's just all these people in the house the whole day. Then the next morning, it was the wedding morning. So Emma's brother, his name is Maji, he hasn't even opened his clothes yet. So that is just the same as all the type of men in this world. They just are so chill. They don't have that, you know, many worries like a woman does on her wedding day. So yeah, Emma helped him do his makeup just at home, helped him pack his clothes. And then there were over 50 cars. Yes, you heard that right. Over 50 cars cars that came to pick him up so then all the cars get like a little ribbon around and Maji is in the car in the front and this is also the time then where we gave them the hong baos then we went to fetch the girl in like 50 cars it was the most craziest thing i have ever seen i felt so cool to be a part of this everyone with their hazards on so yeah then we went to pick her up here i heard the guys usually then go to the woman's house and they actually have to fight for the woman like they go through like these different types of obstacles but this girl her family is very traditional so they didn't play games so they were just standing 
there was like her on that side and Maji's family on this side and then there was this guy talking a little bit I didn't quite understand what he said and then like it's the ceremony where like he goes to her family side to pick her up because the girl in Chinese families the girl comes to the guy so this also a sad day for the girl's parents because like you know kind of losing the daughter out of their house if you can say it like that then they came home to Margie's house to Emma's parents house then like they need to hit this gong and like tell the parents they're home and the girl needs to ask the parents if she can come home and they give home bows and <laughs> It was so interesting to see so then the girl was finally there and there's a lot of eating please don't forget that there is a lot of eating so usually with chinese new year obviously you eat three four times more than usually eat. but with the wedding is like seven times i would say so yeah then we eat and then everyone was just chilling for the day and people came to visit and yeah it was really an interesting day it was I think the most interesting for me is just to drive through this town. Look how it looks. Like everyone just has their own idea in their head. They did their houses. Then they wait a little bit for it to paint. No one is like judging each other. Oh, you have to paint your house. It doesn't look good. No, everyone is just doing their own thing. And here it's really about pieces of land. Like this part is someone else's land. Another part. And everyone is planting something. Doing something. It was really so interesting to see. I think the biggest thing for me, because I don't think a small village like that has ever seen a foreigner. So like, we were taking pictures with family members and like people came up to me, asked me for pictures, asked me so many questions. It was really nice to like share my life as well with them. But the most interesting thing is the food. So in China, like you put your, in for foreigners, we leave our plate on the table right we cannot lift it up bring it to our mouths but in china it is so rude to not lift your plate up or your bowl up so like i had to sit with this bowl and then people just give you food all the time just put food in your bowl put food in your bowl and you have to kind of finish it like it's just it's not that rude not to finish it but you know it's just better if you can finish your food so i was a few times i was just eating and eating and these guys were just thinking it's hilarious and just keeps on giving me more food. So that was definitely the one of the most interesting things was the food idea. And like women here, we cross our legs when we sit. No, when there's like adults around, we don't do that. We're not allowed to do that. I made these people laugh so many times because I really had no idea what was going on. And like the food in the middle, food is obviously a big part of Chinese culture. There was this all the food is in the middle and then there's a meat bowl and i'm a big meat eater i love meat so then i would take the meat from the top but i take like three or four pieces and like apparently you can only take like from the middle or something like that and you're only allowed to take one piece at a time because there's so many people at the table so i was like at least i'm a foreigner you know so i get a pass with stuff like that another thing i always knew that in china like you know parents set blind dates for their children but i have never in my life experienced something like that one day we just went to meet this girl um, emma's other brother maju maju and uh, we just went to meet this girl and her mom and then the aunt has to come with that like introduce the two family we we're just sitting at lakin and talking and it wasn't awkward it was just weird because i've never experienced something like that that was also so interesting to see and then the guy has to take the girl's family for food like that day to just appreciate it and then if they like each other they invite each other back to meet family so then the next day we went to meet her whole family and yeah it was we we're just sitting there talking and the parents like ask a lot of questions about the kids and then if the guy likes the girl he like gives her money to like prove to her he likes her so i had never knew these small details about this and also i don't know if it only happens like in a uh, small muslim village or if it happens in every single chinese village or was it really traditional so if you're chinese and watching please put it down in the comments below i think a lot of people would also like to know is this like the general thing 
like not just with Chinese weddings, but also when you meet someone, when your parents set up a blind date for you, that would be really interesting to know. But yeah, that was very interesting for me to see. So yeah, at night we were just chilling, talking to people. A lot of people still came to visit after the wedding because like the first three days, also the groom and the bride, they need to wear new clothes and then they need to visit this family and they're not allowed to visit that family on that day. So it was very interesting. And at night we would just play Monopoly and we watch the Chinese New Year show. I've never watched that. So every night, Chinese New Year's Eve, uh, there's a show for like four or five hours I'm not even sure how long so all in all I met by the way the cutest kid baby I was holding him the whole time because when you sit at a table and you don't understand all the time you know it's easy to just play with the kids so, anyway that was an amazing Chinese New Year I really wish that every single person in this world gets to experience something like that like that feeling of you don't know what to do you don't know what to say it makes you grow into a different type of person it's so interesting you learn so much in like 10 to 14 days really i hope everyone can like be a part of a chinese family during chinese new year so rich in culture it is insane it is amazingly insane so yeah i appreciate you guys for watching let me know if you have any questions if you heard anything about chinese new year i'm not sure if i experienced it but maybe i would like to or i can let you know about that but yeah thanks for watching and happy chinese new year everyone and thanks for watching all the time i really appreciate you guys see you in the next video bye